Welcome drone video fans, my name is Bill and this 8 minute video we're going to take a look at uh, some of the changes I made to the antenna systems on my uh, XKX380, uh, one of uh, DJ Soul Force's favorite aircraft. Looking at the uh, back end there you can see the uh, 200 milliwatt VTX with the uh, video aerial systems uh, ION2 uh, antenna which is uh, supposedly uh, like a 2.5 gain over most normal antennas. I uh, also see the OSD uh, um, stuck on the bottom side of the uh, of the uh, craft which gives me uh, battery and altitude and directional information. Spinning around here I've got the uh, usual piece of uh, velcro tape holding that hatch door shut which doesn't usually hold and there's my uh, uh, get to uh, camera connected to uh, the um, gimbal system which is uh, the OEM uh, XK uh, gimbal system that uh, I've always had on there. There's a quick look at the um, uh, diversity monitor that I, I use and uh, we'll get a, a little bit of a view of that. We're just lifting off here now and uh, you know I wanted to make sure that it was going to be stable because um, here's a, a look at the uh, uh, the uh, what you're seeing on the monitor of, by way of my uh, FXT uh, goggles I was recording that so taking off here now this is the view from the uh, get to camera uh, set to 1080p and 60 frames per second and uh, we're just gonna take off here and again uh, I always wait a, a few seconds after I take off with the uh, uh, XKX380 because um, yeah those of you who know the craft know that it has a tendency to go into a toilet bowl uh, situation so uh, it took off and it was perfectly solid and stable and I uh, I was so impressed that I decided well we'll just go for it here uh, so a lot of times I'll take off and I'll do uh, a few 360 degree yaw turns to the left and right to help stabilize it but uh, uh, it was it was really stable when we took off so we said we'll just decide to go for it so uh, first thing is to uh, get up to uh, a decent altitude and uh, my uh, uh, on-screen display is reads out in meters so I took up to about 73 74 meters high which is approximately 230 feet high that cell tower you see in the center of the picture is about 200 feet high so um, we wanted to uh, definitely avoid that um, there wasn't much re wind really on this day, but uh, uh, the uh, the gimbal, the OEM gimbal, does uh, search a little bit uh, on the uh, yaw axis. It it's handles uh, pitch and roll pretty good, but it it does search a little on the yaw axis. We're flying out over the um, the um, Geneva Marina here, and uh, you can see that uh, it's over 50% filled. I expect it'll be filled up all the way within uh, another couple of weeks and we're heading out to that uh, channel that you can see that leads out into Lake Erie which we saw some judging action going on um, in a previous uh, video. Now I know when you get out to that uh, channel that's uh, 3,000 feet uh, about a thousand meters away from where I took off and uh, that's a pretty good test and I was watching for any kind of breakup or anything and I, I can tell you that the the uh, video back on my uh, diversity uh, monitor was absolutely solid and we're going to look here there's a one boat coming in and one boat going out on the uh, diversity monitor I also had video aerial system uh, antennas um, I had a, cr a crosshair extreme which is a 10.25 uh, dBi uh, gain uh, antenna and everything I use is uh, right hand circular polar polarization that uh, light station that you see there that's about 200 feet high and uh, I wanted to watch and see if uh, I still would get uh, uh, some breakup when I would turn back towards myself because I've always had that problem and uh, uh, not unsurprisingly as I turned here and, and started facing back towards my uh, launch point so that the antenna was back behind the uh, legs of the XK X380 and behind the ga camera and gimbal and all that stuff I did get a little bit of breakup but it was only for you know like three seconds so um, we were we were pretty good about that and by this time here we had you know a full locked in 
signal here, and we're we're still, you know, over 2,000 feet away from uh, our, our uh, takeoff point. So since I, I still had uh, uh, plenty of uh, battery power, uh, you know, according to my uh, OSD, um, I decided uh, rather than head back to where I'm standing in the in the shade of those trees that you see in the distance, uh, I would uh, make a uh, right turn and head to the west and go over the um, uh, the two swampy areas that are basically they're just uh, swamp uh, with a bunch of dead trees standing up in them and some uh, lily pads and uh, you guys usually pull over on the side of the road and they'll fish over there for uh, uh, smallmouth bass and sunfish and other small game fish um, and but what I was hoping to see was uh, also in, in that area is um, uh, frequently there's uh, blue heron and uh, egrets that uh, nest in the tops of those uh, dead trees and you'll be able to see here as we're we're approaching it here you can see on uh, either side of the road there's you know the uh, the swamp areas and just dead trees sticking straight up like uh, <laughs> uh, little soldiers there and and those dead trees are what attract uh, certain uh, species of uh, birds and uh, uh, but we were unfortunate and didn't see any uh, any birds uh, coming up to meet us or flying around or anything so um, also along the along the lake sh lake shore, a lot of times there's uh, turkey vultures and eagles, but we didn't see any of those either. So uh, we're heading back uh, to towards uh, Launch Point, and uh, we're coming over the back over the uh, this this area here. This uh, parking lot that you see here is what they call crab apple orchard uh, picnic area, and uh, it's vastly underused but uh, that works out to my benefit because it's a, a great place to uh, fly from and uh, so we're you know dropping down I'm keeping track of my uh, altitude on the on-screen display and and uh, we see a, a volleyball court set up here where they were all set up for uh, uh, Memorial Day um, people that would be, be coming out here and I expected to see some picnickers out even this even though it was like 9 30 or 10 o'clock in the morning but uh, didn't see any of those, uh, and that's me standing there next to my car in the shade, which uh, helps to be able to uh, see the uh, the on-screen display uh, better. So uh, rather than uh, bring it straight in, we always prefer to like spin it around and back it in and, and drop it down onto the place where we took off. Anyways, it turned out that the new antennas work great, and uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. Uh, hope you found this uh, interesting. I, I re always recommend video aerial systems antennas, so uh, give them a try if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if uh, you're so inclined, and uh, uh, come back again soon. We try to get up a video uh, as long as the weather is, is good over here.